Hello, my name is Chris Palmer, and in today's video, I want to discuss Google My Business and Google My Business Maps. So really, this will pertain to service area businesses, hiding addresses, multiple locations. So I want to discuss and share as much as I possibly can just to give you some ideas if you want to expand multiple locations, if you want to start getting more phone calls and more business, more leads, I'm going to give you the ideas that will, without giving you the step-by-step -step walkthrough of exactly what I did, but I will share with you the tips and strategies in order of what I went through, and please stick with me until the end, I will show you the most effective tip for acquiring service-based business locations on a mass scale, what has been working uh, at the very end, so stick with me. I want to touch on something first before I get into that, and I want to talk about citations. Aside from proximity, citations whether they're structured or unstructured citations are going to be one of the leading factors for your business listing so within our testing I have ran into a couple of issues and I just want to point out as I was going through again they're right in order some of the things that I've tried some of the things that I've done so first and foremost we were setting up businesses with multiple locations and what we learned was do not make a lot of changes all right everything that you do make sure that you do it all at once I want to say if your goal and objective is going to be having multiple locations set it up as a service base business if you're working with a virtual address or working with someone that you were able to get in contact with to an acquire an address and everything has been worked out might I suggest because of the, what's on your screen here you want to either have there's three things that they're gonna ask you for a storefront a storefront with a sign utility bill and the very last thing which what I found if you're able to acquire an address quite easily what's the fastest if you're able to have somebody with an address is go and get a company name for your business if you're able to get an address and again I'm walking you through without giving you everything on a silver platter so if you're able to get the address and you don't have anything else this will be one of your easiest ways to solidify that location okay with that being said let's just move on to some of the other things that I have learned now and these are some of the things that I've tried we've used the virtual offices I've gotten people and I want you to just take note here that you can do it by phone now there's certain businesses in certain industries if you're just trying to acquire listings you can work your way through the categories and listings and see if you're able to verify by phone okay so depending on your strategy if you just want to stick with one industry or you're just really worried about getting in calls or setting up listings for affiliate marketing you can work your way through the categories to figure out which ones will work by phone using phone is definitely a opportunity for you now moving on I want to say this and, and this just came to me using a PO box is perfectly fine again we want to stick with service based businesses now if you're going to use a PO box you need to make sure that if you're setting up your business using the method that I just talked about you need to make sure that that address if you're using a PO box or virtual address is on the business license as well where you get mail Google is very concerned with our customers able to contact you our customers able to reach you are you a business I mean they're trying to solidify that you're a business and that you're there to help and not hurt so make sure you're putting all of those pieces in order now as you're working through just like I did testing things out 
seeing how things work what we noticed on some listings is mobile so mobile is certainly an aspect that you're able to verify listings with able to get a uh, able body maybe in another state or a service area that is very far from your initial business service area you need to have that person logged into a google account set up on a fresh email make sure your structured citations are already set up and you're unstructured right all of the data already needs to be in place you have that business person log into the google my business on the mobile in that location and you can sometimes find success depending on the category that you are targeting now like i mentioned numerous tests have been done but there is one particular way to achieve and receive multiple locations that beats almost all others now before i go ahead and get into that i want to just go ahead and just draw a quick diagram just to really demonstrate and share with you exactly what needs to be done so if you have your gmb okay this is the gmb and it is set up you need to always 100 percent. here's some of the things that you want to make sure are in order one is going to be your citations two is going to be the website needs to have an, and if you're doing a service area say you set up a gmb a particular location but you're in a service area and you want to claim numerous locations within that service area let's say you live in new york and you have um one of your business associates in another service area in new jersey and you want to cover parts of new jersey you want to make sure that this is attached to the website and each of the locations so let's just say it's new jersey but this is a city in new jersey this is a city in new jersey these are city pages these are service pages because you're trying to get multiple gmbs because this gmb is servicing this website but for this service page this gmb is servicing this website but for this service page, do you understand? Making sure that this GMB is connected to a website in a different state, in a different service area, there's something that you need to make sure of first before doing this that we are finding significant success with. And I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you now. Now, this will not work on every single service. And if you're in just one select industry, you're not just trying to get leads to send out for affiliate, then this may not be for you. But if your main objective is to set up locations, set up profiles, set up websites to get leads, all you need to do is take the time to find the categories, find the industry that works. And this very next tip is going to help you significantly. I'm going to go ahead and share that with you now. So I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to hold you by the hand here, but I am going to point out something that is working after explaining what I just explained before. Instantly verify business listing available for select businesses. Okay, if you're already verified your business website with Google Search Console, you may be able to verify your listing instantly available for select businesses. Again, I'm going to revert back to this. So, my name is Chris Palmer. If you have any questions regarding Google My Business, Google Maps, local SEO, digital marketing, internet marketing, SEO testing. If you want to get on the list for SEO testing and learn the types of advanced tactics and techniques, then please ask in the comments below if you have any questions. Sign up for our Facebook group. That's Facebook slash groups, Chris Palmer SEO to get on the list. I hope that you have a wonderful day.